the morning after. You hunkered down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleansers, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep was impossible, as you must be constantly on your guard for the telltale sounds of security teams or building maintenance crews. Morning eventually comes, comes and with it, another chance at Project Aegis. Here we are in our little closet. Little Janet. And... Let's see what there is to see. Uh, the lockers. This will be our second time in the game we've had the opportunity to disguise ourselves as janitorial staff, remember? Yeah. It's a convenient disguise. Mission added. Comlink ships. Which, remember, we're going to uh, set up at strategic points. And new objective, don't blow your cover. I do feel... I mean, I, I know it's just like a gameplay story segregation thing, but it is a, it is kind of a bit suspension harming that of disbelief harming that I'm disguised as a janitor, but these things are still flying around behind me. <laughs> They're cleaning droids. Oh, there, you, there you go. There you go. They're, they swiffer the floor as they fly over it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's bo body bag. Lots of nice plants, at least. The supervisor has the look of a stuffer shack manager with delusions that he's on a career track rather than what he is. A disposable, dime-a-dozen resource. Supervisor. Hey, there you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, there you are. I'm Steve Scott. I'll be your direct supervisor. Sorry I missed you when you first came in, but I only found out that you were starting an hour ago when you suddenly showed up in the system. Weird glitch or something. Normally, we'd watch an orientation trid and walk through our mission statement, but... Well, it's going to be hard for you on the first day, but you're going to need to clean up some blood. Maybe a lot. Cleaning up other people's messes is what I do. You'll have your hands full. There was some sort of break-in last night. Some people were, um... Just get things cleaned up on this floor. And listen, people are going to be on edge today, so try to stay invisible and don't get into any trouble. Otherwise, they're going to call me, and I'm going to have to reprimand you and put a note in your file. Straighten up the floor and stay out of trouble. Got it. I hope they get whoever did this. Only a fool would attack a Telestrian corporate office and think they can get away with it. Start heading from room to room and clean what needs cleaning. Good luck and welcome to Telestrian. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a hell of a first day. There's a body under the body bag. There's just a stain. Another. It's also like body bags, but they're awfully small. Maybe they're body bags for like chunks of dudes that went flying off of them. And now, do you remember? You recognize this uh, this location, Nick? Yes. This is the hall where we had that big firefight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, tu with the turrets. Yeah, it's not that bad. Let's say hi to this Telestrian guard. Telestrian guard, what can I do for you? I need to get upstairs. My supervisor says there's more cleaning to do. The top floors may only be accessed with the expressed authorization of Eric Silverstar, our VP of security. You can head to the lower floors if your supervisor wants. Okay, well, I better get back at it. Okay, we gotta... We gotta set up the, uh... We gotta set up the comlink chips. Let's see here. Here's one of the rooms our little, uh, drone snuck through last night. The two men are staring into the vent and shaking their heads. Telestrian guard. Look, Raoul. Raoul, I know you, and I and you know that... Oh, I know, and and you know that there's nothing in the vent. But when I told that to Silverstar, he accused me of not wanting to crawl in there. Said, was get, says, said I was letting the company down by not displaying the corporate value of duty. Telestrian security guard. The suits sure love their mission statements and all that dreck. Today isn't the day for Telestrian Corp's duty above all crap. Several of us did the ultimate duty last night. I guess we should just be happy Mr. Telestrian isn't in today. Just get in there and take another look. I have got to go upstairs and report. And he's heading up. Let's see what this uh, security guard has to say. A filthy guard is looking into an open vent. 
He is clearly not enjoying the idea of climbing back into the duct. So sorry I tracked that drek all over the floor. He shakes his head. Man, I can't believe what happened to the Night Watch. And, oh, we have a special charisma option because we have Charisma 4. Me either. You think you're done with events for the day? They want me to get this room back in order. If anyone asks, you saw me in there, okay? Of course. <laughs> of course. Off he goes. Yeah, we have the room to ourselves now. And here's this little electronic console. Matrix Emergency Power Junction. Install the Comlink chip. The access panel comes off with a quiet pop, and you place a chip inside. Karma gained, too. Nice. He comes and goes... Well... Alright, let's look in here. Here's a Telestrian tech worker. Telestrian tech... It's... It's... It's Elf Sundowner. <laughs> Hashtag bring back Sundowner. I'm, I'm gonna make that a thing someday, Nick. I know you will. As the, tel as the Telestrian tech jockey turns to speak, you notice a, r a panel has been removed from one of the, l the land racks just behind him. Thanks for coming. Can you believe it? Silver Star is calling it an intrusion, but I know the aftermath of a shadow run when I see it. Start over in the corner and make sure you don't get any solvents on my servers. Ah, we, got, we have another four, uh... Another Charisma 4 option. Do you think you could duck out for a smoke or something? It would be easier if I didn't have to clean around you. Oh, sorry! Yeah, no problem. Just another day in paradise, right? Off he goes. And we've... We've contributed to his future respiratory problems. Well, maybe We're those don't happen anymore in Shadowrun. It's never clear. Well, yeah, maybe they can cure that more easily. Then again, this is a dystopian, unpleasant cyberpunk kind of world, so... The open panel is a rat's nest of cables and half-disassembled hardware. Some of it is loose. Take some of the LAN parts. All right. Mission item added. Matrix local... Uh, Matrix LAN parts. We're just stealing office supplies now, basically. Matrix Emergency Power Junction. Let's add that chip. Karma gained, too. Okay. Just walk casual. Act like I belong here. Like I'm not the person who spilled all that blood all over the floor less than 24 hours ago. Everyone's happy. Whoop. Telestrian Guard. I have to say, at this point, it's not looking good. Telestrian Worker. Yes. It's like... Legolas in his 40s. <laughs> I, or... I don't, I don't know how it happened. Nonetheless, our records show this terminal was left unsecured in direct contravention of Telestrian corporate policy. Remember that last night, Nick? The unsecured, uh, terminal? Yeah. In, 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 in direct contravention of Telestrian corporate policy. You failed in your duty. I know it's duty above all for you security types, but I am the victim here, I swear. Perhaps when Mr. Silverstar gets his next promotion, that will become a value for, for you data pushers as well. Right now, it seems that your value is clock out early and ignore my responsibilities. Don't go anywhere. I need to make my report to Eric. Off he goes. Now, you, some of you might be wondering... Like, why are they so... Like, why are they making such a big... Like, they're talking about duty to the Telestrian Corporation as if it was like... As if almost like it was like a country or something, you know? Yeah. It sounds, it sounds a little weird. But keep in mind, some of the really, the bigger multinationals in the Shadowrun universe basically are countries. I mean, they don't have, like, a specific geographical territory, but as it said before, like, you can... They are, like, sort of... Super national. Uh, they are in some ways uh, more comparable to like, almost like like privately owned states than they are to comp like companies as we know them today. You can have like citizenship in them. Some of them have like extra tort territory. Some of them have like their you know their own court systems rather than people being tried in the local national court, local government courts, and so forth. Huh. Telestrian worker. 
So like you know, I mean, so it's like I mean, like you know, it's today. It's like if you, if your manager, your if if you know, if you if you if your manager at your job was talking about you know honor and duty to the, you know, to Procter and Gamble or whatever, that would sound pretty silly. <laughs> but in, in to some people in the Shadowrun universe, not necessarily. The wage slave is on the edge. He's staring vacantly at the t his terminal with his hands to his face and his fingers twitching nervously. W what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Looks like you're in some real tr trouble, chummer. Buzz. Unless you can clean up a shattered career, leave me alone. Buzz means the buzz should you know, like buzz off. Right. <clears throat> and I can't I came across some items that might help you out. He shakes his head. I doubt it. You know the guy who said life isn't fair? He was talking about me. <laughs> One of your options is I hear you. Let me tell you about all the crap I have to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> or, you also have the option, eh, me too. I used to be in accounting a few floors up. A few too many drinks at the Christmas party and look at me now. <laughs> but we're not going to go with that because there's a charisma option. Security's bullying you. But I could make it look like your terminal was tampered with and no one would be the wiser. You're right. There is no reason I should let security push me around. He steals himself. Just do it quick. Let's talk to him. None of this will matter after I'm fired, out on the street, and eating dog food. Just leave me alone. Might have just a thing to help you out. Okay, alright, this is just the same conversation again. Okay. So now, we don't have to get him out of... We, we're going to... You place the cables and data chips around the terminal's casing. Yeah, the Matrix land part. So now there's just, like, computer crap all over the place. Looks like... Thanks so much. I won't forget this when your review comes up. Hey, no problem, sir. Just glad I could help. Would you mind clearing out of here for a while? There's a lot to do. You bet. Just remember to keep this just between us. Hmm. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> and there's our content ID for the day. I like... the ga And the game is like not like super, you know, it's not like some technological marvel or whatever, but there's lots of nice detail on the uh, in these environments. Like the desk, like the desk turned over its side with the bullet holes in it. These big, these giant displays on the screen with gr graphs of what you know might be you know stock prices or something. Yeah, the one of those stocks look had, like they had a fourth quarter uh, huge jump. Yeah. And let's see here. Another place the comlink chip. Gained two. Objective complete. Plant the comlink chips to get to Eric Silverstar's office. Anything else we can do with this? No. I'd say there's, you can't actually do anything else with that, but I guess like they, they neglected to have the uh, interact icon disappear when there was no longer anything to do. Just a little oversight. Okay. Okay, now we gotta go talk to that security guard. Because now we have an excuse to talk to a higher up. Since we've just discovered that some malicious person has put comlink chips hidden away in our hardware. Alright. Hey, I found all these chips on some of the mat on the matrix switch boxes. Is that important? The guard thinks for a moment and activates his comlink. He turns his back on you and has a brief conversation. Then he turns back. Mr. Silverstar wants to see you in his office immediately. All right. All right. About to transition, and here we go. <laughs> 